views from around the region and from around the state, this is a Florida Focus News Brief. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Tayana Edwards. A woman is behind bars after a fatal hit and run. Florida Highway Patrol troopers arrested Allison Fay Huffman last night. She was charged with leaving the scene of a deadly accident yesterday morning. Huffman allegedly struck and killed a tow truck driver on the Howard Franklin. The driver was assisting a disabled vehicle on the side of the road. Huffman is being held in the Pinellas County Jail without bond. Florida primaries are less than a month away. Taylor Clark reports from the Supervisor of Elections Office. Today marked the deadline to change party affiliation for our upcoming primary. Florida's March 15th primary will be a crucial battleground for presidential candidates. You have a few early voting options before Election Day. You can vote by mail by filling out an absentee form and returning it before March 9th. Bay Area early voting starts at the end of February. We are a closed primary state. This means if you want to vote for a candidate in the primaries, you must be registered in the same party. Those registered as independents don't vote in the primaries. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Taylor Clark. Hillsboro Heart buses are getting wired for Wi-Fi. This new technology is being installed for Heart's smart card fare system. The digital system will allow bus riders to pay fares from their smartphones. 189 buses across eight counties are getting wired this week. Heart Wi-Fi will be up and running in April. Improving access to the River Arts District. That's the goal of this downtown Tampa's $7.8 million project. Next week, Cass Street will once again become a two-way route. A new track for cyclists on Cass will open this summer. Tower Street will also switch back to two-way traffic. That's all that we have for Florida Focus. Thank you for watching.